Welcome back to another figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at Chicken Fried Toys Dime Novel Legends Saloon Bartender. This is what the front of the card looks like. On the top left here, we have the Chicken Fried Toys logo. And if you can see this, this is interesting because you've probably never seen this before because I haven't either. Ages 25 plus adult collector figure. How irresponsible do you have to be to be you cannot have this figure unless you're 25 or older? <laughs> That's just funny. On the top here, you have Dime Novel Legends name and done a nice artwork. Above the bubble, we have Saloon Bartender. And obviously, you have your figure in a bubble. On the right, we have a portrait of the bartender some pretty nice artwork which I believe from the back of the package Boss Fight Studio is responsible for the artwork let's see yeah if you take a look here for a second right there Boss Fight Studio but this is front of the card very nice thick cardboard these, there's no hanger, so you can't hang unless you're going to need a, a display case uh, to put this in if you want to put it on your wall. If you're a card collector, burn this cards. There's no damage to this. It's been a shame to open it, but we'll get to the reason why I bought it in a few minutes. So up top here on the on right, we have Dime Novel Legends. And we have Where the Old West Comes to Play. Chicken Fry Toys logo. A portrait of the figure. And then we have some other th other figures that are offered in this line. And I thought it was very nice and noteworthy that they thanked all the uh, 565 backers who supported our successful KS campaign, which is Kickstarter campaign on November 12, 2016 by investing in our dream project. The Kickstarter program has definitely gave collectors some stuff that we probably have never gotten if it wasn't for that that system. Um, down in the middle we have Saloon Bartender and a little bio. So um, if you want to read that, I'll go ahead and pause it. Below that you'll have company info and a thank you so I get it back. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully you can read all that just by pausing the video. And this is Wave One in his first print run of 2,000 pieces. All right. Um, let's take a look at something before we open that up. He has no accessories inside his bubble, but you get this along with it. You get a baggie with a beer barrel, a stand, and a mug with some, an insert which represents a foaming beverage. Let's, let's take that on now. Here's a stand. So you get a tan stand with a chicken fry toys logo on it and three peg holes. You get this mug to handle and insert a foaming beverage or beer. That fits perfectly inside. You serve all your patrons. You get a stand for the barrel. It's done in brown with black wash. And you get this barrel. Black bands. 
some brown wood. Um, it's all plastic, but it's, a, it's like representing like a wood. Here's a kind of a damaged slat of wood here. This opens. This is solid. I am not sure if I'm gonna get this open or not. Yeah, I don't think I have anything here to open this. Um, it says pickles on this side. But if you have seen any of my other videos, I, there is an accessory pack you can buy that gives you additional barrel and three mugs. Um, and they are exactly the same. You just get additional barrel. That doesn't look like I'm going to get that out. I have nothing to get in there. But on the inside, you can flip this over. There's a beer tab that you can have. And on the side, it says beer on. Um, I have nothing to get down inside there. That's not that one's not coming out either. I almost got that one. Let's see here. Give me one second. I don't want to break my knife. Nope. I have to find something else. I have nothing close. But if you look at that, my, my review for that, it's the same barrel. And you can take a look at that. Uh, beer tab tap tab tab tap whatever here's the mug and it sits on stand like so let you guys take a look at that part it's why I cut him out of the package um, yeah, it's kind of a shame to open this figure. I mean, it might be, I'm not sure of the value this is going to have in the future. These are widely available from a retailer online. So I'm not sure if, yeah. Don't know, I like G.I. Joe Star Wars. I wonder how they're it's growing value. But since they are limited figures, they may have some value in the future because only, only 2,000 pieces. Here he is in a clam shell. Here's the figure up close. He has one of his very curly mustaches nice head sculpt unique hairstyle from that that time frame which I thought would be perfect for what I want to do with it because it gives you kind of some kind of like a unique wild display is that a apron and if you can notice his green vest has some white um how would you call that a uh, white design I guess we'll go with design is a white shirt, blue pants, could be just blue jeans, and he has, I'm betting these are supposed to be cowboy boots, so brown cowboy boots with a black sole. The side of the figure. Back of the figure has a black, the back of his vest is black, not the green, like the front green collar on top he has his apron tie here I'm not sure you might be able to remove that vest yeah You're probably gonna have to pop off the head pull it up over and then pull the apron down over his legs if you desire to have him without his apron on he has a white collar and there's a silver button in there. So for articulation, his head does go 360 all the way around. Um, sure, these joints are tight. Wow, these are really tight. 
So what I'm gonna do is give me a second, I'm gonna try to heat these up. Wow. Okay, well, I tried heating it. These shoulders have a shoulder joint. I am not sure if that's a ball joint, but there's actually a joint there. It is really stuck, so I'm not gonna force it. You can see that he does have bendable elbows, which oh, do bend, it's a little tight, but that was a little better. His wrists have, will go 360. The fingers are kind of a softer plastic. Um, with his apron on, it looks like he would sit pretty good. Yeah, he'd sit really nice. Because of the indications of the joints being so tight, I am not going to attempt to try to take this off. I'm going to have to sit and work on this figure and make sure that the joints get softened and we're not breaking it. These figures retail, the reason I do retail is about, well, um, let's see, $27, I think it is, $26.99 for this figure. So they're a little pricey, and they're limited, and I don't want to break it. So he has double jointed knees, which, well, a little tight I'm not gonna go it you can see it for yourself there it's really tight and his feet are extremely tight too so that's about all I can do right now for the articulation to apologize for that but I'm sure if you're a collector you understand For what I wanted for, articulation ain't gonna be the biggest thing for me. Which I'll get to in a second. So if you hang out long enough in this video, it may give you an idea that you may, it does not hold up mug very well. Let's see how all the pigs work. Those looks like some big pigs. Oh, they fit nice. I'm glad they included this stand because for the reason I want it, which we're gonna get into. Um, I basically are gonna use this figure exactly what he's called, a bartender. I recently came across well, if you ever heard of Extreme Sets, uh, it's called a G-Bar, and it is a large, very high quality cardboard displays and very high detailed um, sets that you can pick up. They do different scales, 118, 112. I'm not sure if they can any, if they go to 16 or not. But they do a lot of 118s and 112 scales, but they do more 112 than 118s, so. I'm, they have a bar, it's called the G-Bar. I'm gonna pick that up. It has a bar, a couple booths. Um, so I've been wanting to create my own Dreadnought bar. And I'm gonna use him in my G-Bar, which I'm gonna call my Gangster's Bar, for my display. He'll basically just stand behind the bar on his stand, looking all awesome. So fit, he kinda has a Dreadnought face. Something you find out in the Dreadnought character. But uh, that's my plans. Um, my G-Bar is currently in route. So I am, I'll show that 
when I can. If you're interested. So that is my review for Dime Novel Legends. Um, do I recommend this figure? I like the sculpt. I like the accessories. For what I wanted for it, it works perfect for me. Because there's no other bartender that I know of out there in any other line. I like the head sculpt. I mean, for what I care, the joints on the elbows work the most for the bar purposes. Um, it's hard to say because of how tight those joints are. If there's, if it's just molded together, or what's going on? So, um, I'm gonna say 50/50. I recommend just 50%. Depending on what you want it for. If you want it for straight up playability and you're gonna manipulate the joints, well, as you can see, uh, you might want to think about it and do some more research and see if anybody else has any luck with moving their arms. Um, so, as always, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching.